Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Gary Wasikizik for uh, Real People's Media. Uh, I'd like to say uh, hello to the people that have tuned in. And, you know, I want to give you guys an update as to what's been happening, what I've been working on. Um, there's more than myself now. There's other people that are interested and other people that are starting to support uh, this little project that we've started. Uh, was interviewing uh, uh, residential school survivors and trying to line up 60 scoop uh, victims so that they can tell their stories. But um, one of the things that I'd like to inform uh, the people that are watching and supporting is that uh, it's not only this YouTube that I'm trying to uh, trying to get started um, doing the interviews. Um, ever since I've been active, uh, I started getting active like 12 years ago and uh, it's led to other activity besides um, the way I started was the missing murdered Native women's issues because of the fact that my mother was murdered while I was in the residential schools and I always wanted to do something about that. But uh, but looking into my mother's case has led me to other activity. And one of the um, other activities that I've done uh, within the past couple of years is uh, what I'd like to tell you about now is furniture drive. Um, I've been able to uh, do furniture drives. Uh, not just furniture but also um, furniture drives that include like sports equipment, tools, clothing, uh, furniture, mattress beds, mattress, and the whole thing. Things that are very much needed in First Nations communities. Uh, in this little flyer that I have, this is an old flyer that we used in the, in the furniture drives that I had before. Um, but again, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of starting another furniture drive um, we want to do another one uh, from uh, for up north. Um, we want to go into Thunder Bay, we want to go into Savant Lake, and then over to Mesh. Um, and like I said, I've done these before. I've done two drives so far, and you know, one of, it was it was great, man. I was like uh, people in Toronto, man. Yeah, some of the greatest people in you know living in Canada. Um, we also had donations coming in from St. Catharines, Kitchener, and other areas. Uh, when people heard that there was a furniture drive on for our First Nations community, they just willingly and gladly gave what they had and what they could. You know, quite a few people mentioned the fact that they couldn't uh, enter demonstrations or rallies or weren't capable of, you know, uh, participating. But once they heard the furniture drive was on for our First Nations, and oh man, did we ever get a, a fantastic response? Uh, we're walking into million dollar homes, we're walking into basement apartments and places in between. Uh, and that's how much people wanted to help. They were giving us like everything, um, boom. Uh, people that were moving out of the country would call us and tell us to take everything in the house. You know, they wanted to donate everything to First Nations. Um, so anyways, like I said, we're gonna try to uh, do another one. I've already started the process. I've already um, contacted people that, that, are, uh, that are gonna be capable of help, helping us with this furniture drive. Um, some of the crew that uh, some of the crew that I was using on the old furniture drive are willing to come back on board, and so hopefully you know by within a week or two weeks we'll have something solid going down. And uh, you know if you're willing to donate, if you're willing to uh, help out in any way, support you know here's my phone number I'd like to give you is uh, one way to contact me for now. I'll have other avenues uh, a little bit later on. But one of the ways to, if you want to inquire, is 647-573-5290. That's my phone number. That's how you can, you can reach out to me and ask about the furniture drive. Like I said, over the years, I've become very involved with uh, activity, uh, especially with First Nations issues, whether they be uh, residential schools, whether it's a 60 scoop, whether it's uh, train tracks, uh, block and roads, um, not done in a violent manner. It's just, you know, we're uh, trying to get the word out as to what really happened with our people. And, you know, by doing a furniture drive, um, it's another way of uh, getting active. It's another way of getting the word out, you know, the necessity that is in First Nations for this type of uh, material. Um, there's a lot of people don't know the conditions on uh, First Nations communities. They're, some of them are very in very bad shape in third world conditions. And so there's a, a real need for this product that we're asking for and going to be helping out a lot of people. If you know, if you want to support, you know, donate, whatever it is that you want to do. And hopefully we, we can hear from you. Hopefully we get your support and hopefully, you know, like contact us and 
we'll be in touch as soon as you reach out to us. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody that's supported so far. And keep, you know, keep tuning in because, you know, from now on, hopefully, uh, now that we're starting to know this program a little bit better, uh, we'll be on, you know, we'll, from a weekly basis now, we'll be able to hear the things that we're up to and the things that we're going to be working on. So again, like I said, on behalf of the First Nations within Turtle Island, miigwech, miigwech, miigwech. Do you have a date as to when the when you hope the truck will leave to take stuff up? Well, I'm kind of hoping for the, the warm season. I right? like, uh, want to do some collecting in February, and then hopefully within, then we'll have a better time limit uh, within the next two weeks. But we are, we have already started. I've already made the contacts to the people that are involved. And it's just a matter of putting everybody, getting everybody together and start organizing and then, you know, lining up the trucks and everything else that's involved. So if, if people call now, will they, to give stuff away, will, are you able to take it and is there a place to store it or do they have to wait? Um, I think that can be arranged very easily. Uh, if people have, have stuff to donate and things to give, uh, I think we can arrange that real quick, real fast. And the more that's given, the more that's, you know, handed out. Uh, exactly. I think we can uh, work around that. And like I said again, miigwech, miigwech, miigwech.